And welcome back to Daily Rap. It's time for Yay or Nay, Sans Music. First up, take a look at this. Say it, man. the grace of Allah. <laughs> Allah <laughs> Akbar. Yeah, that's not out of Syria or Iraq or anything. That's a video making fun of ISIS-style execution videos. Was it done overseas? Oh, no. The men in the video are employees of the British bank HSBC, who have since been fired. Are these, this is your first question, Joe, are these the stupidest people in the history of mankind, yay or nay? I'm going to say they're up there, so I'm going to say yay, although at first I thought this was what was replacing some of the excessive ATM fees. Oh, he makes a good point because it's sometimes it's like two fifty now to take money. Yeah, yeah, so now they're letting you know they're not messing around. But right. Yeah, yeah, definitely stupid. He makes a great point, Rick. I want to talk to them to ask them what they thought was funny about that. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean there had to be something in their head. I can't imagine. Quaaludes, quaaludes, probably. Quaaludes, ludes. Or they have yeah. a really mean boss. <laughs> Boy, yeah. you don't know about. Right. Um, it's hard enough to get fired in a lot of places today because of fear of litigation. The fact that these people got fired, they have to be way up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is not something you put on a LinkedIn page. That, that's, that's for sure. Anyway, we've spoken a number of times about the amount of taxpayer dollars that goes towards President Obama's family vacations. And this year is no exception. Boston Herald now reporting that the Obamas will be vacationing in Martha's Vineyard as usual again this August. So where will the family of four be staying? In this $12 million house featuring seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a basketball and tennis court, an infinity pool, hot tub, and incredible views. Is this bad optics for the president who continually attacks the richest 1% or a well-deserved vacation Joe? Uh, I'm going to say it's bad optics, uh, although I did hear the ice machine is broken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not to be confused with ice. You're talking it's ice. Not the ice hole machine, the I ice machine. Right, and that's not the immigration yes. people ice. We're talking no, actual ice, ice that actual creates cubes. Cube form, yes. Okay, very good. Rick. You know, people who have sat in these chairs before us have had the identical conversation with every single president of the modern era. Whenever they go on vacation, we complain. It changes nothing. Leave them alone. Let them have a vacation. What's the big deal? I'm just saying maybe a smaller house thought, for four. I never thought. I would say this. I miss Dick Morris, who took a poll of people asking them where they, the president should vacation, mm -hmm. and they they roughed it and camping in Yellowstone one year. <laughs> and I think that's exactly what we need bolsters for. Yes. Okay. Have the right. side, to tell the us side. That. If the president is popular, you give him a nice place to vacation. Mm -hmm. If he's not popular, he goes to Yellowstone. Well, he just he just went over fifty percent, so I guess maybe he earned Martha's. Yeah, he earned Martha's Vineyard yeah, go for this it. week. <laughs> During an interview at the Rock Church in San Diego, California, this weekend, Seattle Seahawks star quarterback Russell Wilson revealed that he had a girlfriend, Sierra. Uh, they're both waiting until marriage to consummate their relationship. Wilson says the decision to remain celibate came to him from God. This is the second chance to do things right for the pair. Wilson was previously married to his high school girlfriend. Sierra has a child with his ex with her ex fiance, excuse me. So, Joe, is Russell Wilson the next Tim Tebow? Yay or nay? <laughs> I'm gonna give this a yay because uh, I, I can relate to this because I know there's a lot of women I've uh, approached for having sex and they mm -hmm. have said, uh, oh God, no, <laughs> dear, dear God, no. So there is always a religious element. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> I'm going to use up my second I don't care of the week. <laughs> okay, you only have one more left, yeah. John. Uh, it'll be a good message for some people who probably need one. Absolutely. And he's being mocked for it on TMZ and everything else like that. And it's just, it's a whole ball wrong. The guy's been to two Super Bowls. He wants to live his life that way. It's all I care so about as long as he's throwing well. I don't care what Right, and don't throw at the two-yard <laughs> line when you have Marshawn Lynch in your backfield. But that was on you know, Pete Carroll. Anyway, as the 2016 election heats up, so are those annoying political posts on social media. But before you start defriending your friends and family, you should know about the new app, Who Deleted Me? The app lets users find out about who has defriended them from Facebook by comparing newer and older versions of their friends list, but only once they start using the app. Will you use this, Rick Unger, yay or nay? Certainly not. Couldn't care less who defriends me. That doesn't count as an I don't care. Okay, I understand. Yes. I'm going to say nay, because this, this certainly doesn't sound like a way that you would expose sensitive personal information. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, John. If you care that much, you care too much. Yeah. Hmm. And that is the philosophy we'll end on tonight. Panel, thank you so much. Yes. Great job as always. Joe, great meeting you as well. Absolutely. Love to have thank you back you. sometime. Thank you for joining us, everybody. I'm Joe Concha, Newsmax Prime with J.D. Hayworth. That's next.